here. The uh, viewpoint is an add-on to View SG or is included in SG. It allows for the publication of your SC application or your HMI applications to web-based devices. So we would have a viewpoint server that would host the website for all of your applications, your HMI applications, allowing for obviously remote access to a number of devices. It's a free download off the Rockwell website. Uh, when you do download it, you get Factory Talk Viewpoint for SE. That includes an admin piece of software that allows you to uh, manage the viewpoint application. It also gives you the Factory Talk Viewpoint server application to be deployed for your SE applications. Let's get started here. So first off, Here's a single line of an SC application. And on the left there, you'll see a, a PinW Plus and a Viewpoint Server. That's all in one. Right? That's your PinW Plus 6 or Plus 7 with the firmware embedded in it to host the Viewpoint Server. The SC application, you can see it has redundant HMI servers. It has a Viewpoint Server. It has our typical SE, which if you if you use Factor 12 View Studio SC, you're familiar with that. They connect to the servers in a uh, local fashion. But we also have our viewpoint server now, which would be the server that hosts the web page application for all the mobile clients or the viewpoint clients. One of the big benefits of using Factor 12 Viewpoint is you really do not have to support the clients with any software or client licensing on the clients themselves. You're typically just using your web browser. And the supported browsers are, are listed there, Microsoft Edge, IE11, and Google Chrome, 67 or later. So that's, that's like one of the big advantages of the uh, viewpoint software. Another big advantage is you can look at about, you can look at your SE or ME applications on basically any mobile device available today. Most of the operating systems I'll talk about a little later, the iOS and the Android operating systems are supported. You do get the full experience of your SC or ME application mobily. This can be managed securely through Factory Talk security or through the Factory Talk viewpoint uh, app, uh, admin software, depending on how you want to do it. So it can be managed securely. You can get your read-write access or read-only access. You can have access to screens based on roles, things like that, all manageable from your Factory Talk admin, Factory Talk Viewpoint admin software. Another cool thing is all the graphics are scalar, scalar. So they will change size and proportion based on the device you're using via a tablet or, an, or a uh, mobile phone or a PC, and we'll go into how you do that a little bit later in the slideshow. Some of the new stuff that they've added in the recent uh, releases, we haven't done a, a, a viewpoint uh, lunch and learn or promotion in quite some time. So the read rate data and the full graphics and animations, they've been there for quite some time, those two features. The uh, the newer stuff in the last couple of releases was support for the Factory Talk alarm and events. This is full access, full management of alarm and events on your cell phone or your iPad or anywhere in the uh, in the uh, PC world. Trending can be real time and historic now. So anything you could do in your SE application sitting at your engineering workstation you'll be able to do on your iPad, remotely on your PC, or on your cell phone if you so desire. Recipe access, you can, go, you can get to your recipes again. And as I mentioned, the uh, iOS and the Android are supported operating systems today. Again, basically any device you can think of that you're gonna be using mobily, would have access to the full application, the HMI application, based on the security set, up, set on it. 
it sounds like great if you're at home and things like that and you want to see what's going on. But we need to remember, we're talking about if it's a sizable machine, we have operators with mobile devices or bring your own device uh, concepts being able to roam the machine, looking at warnings, saying there's something wrong at this portion of the machine, being able to leave their workstation to get a closer look at what's going on on the machine and why there is a warning or something's going on, production slowed down in this piece of it, something like that. That's another use or a good reason to move forward to the viewpoint solution. We talked about the alarm view. Here's a real quick view of the alarm screen sized proportionally for your cell phone, your iPad, or if you had a PC. We publish these screens based on a mobile device or a PC, and you will get to see that as well in a later slide. So with the viewpoint administrative software, we can tell it, hey, this is only going to be a PC screen. We don't want this on a mobile device. Or we can say, yeah, this screen, this display will be both available on a mobile device or a PC. The engineers will have full access to the uh, alarm history, alarm management, so they can acknowledge alarms, shelve alarms if admin rights allow them to do so, all from their uh, remote site via Web Explorer with no client software on. I threw this shot, this screen, this slide in here. So you get an idea of how the uh, web page are published dependent on the device you're using. So you can see the difference of the two between a PC and an iPhone or an iPad and an iPhone or an Android. That's a droid, I guess. You get the idea. The screens are published in size based on the device you're using. And with the scalar graphics, it comes out nice and clear. There's no proportion issues, nothing like that. You get the same feel and experience as you would if you were using a uh, an online client talking to the uh, HMI server itself. Another feature they added was historical alarm events. So you can go back and look at up to 10,000 of them. There's a string filter capability. So if you want to go back and see a certain alarm has been, the last time it's been triggered, you can filter on that alarm and look for repetition, look for timestamps, look for following events that happen after that to see if there is something going on or previous to that alarm to see what could be causing that alarm. Look at some warnings, things like that. All available on your iPhone or your iPad or your Droid, your PC. And the string filter is a really handy thing to have as well. A real quick review of what we discussed today, and I want to read this word for word, but the operators, as I mentioned before, if you're running a machine and you have a size of a big machine and you see a, a bottleneck somewhere in production of that machine, you can take your bring your own device, your iPad, your PC, I mean your iPhone, whatever you want to use, and go to the site where the bottleneck is occurring. Get a first-hand look at what's going on and still have all your production data and alarming information in front of you on your uh, viewpoint client. Engineering maintenance, you can view alarms, you can shelve alarms, you can sort alarms based on string, look for trending, look for failures ahead of time. The production guys can see their bottlenecks. They can use the BYOD feature. Allowing you, allowing the operators to roam the floor, as well as the engineers to roam the machine to get a first-hand look at what's going on as the data is being updated in front of them. IT can lock down the access to this, to your machine through, with viewpoint through the firewalls and devices like that. And management, obviously, and supervisors can see the production data. They, too, can see the choke points. They can see when things are going wrong. So there's a lot of good reasons to keep viewpoint in mind if you're applying, in fact, it's called Studio HMI software and looking for an uh, inexpensive remote access solution. All right. And I know everybody loves it when you say it's as easy as one, two, three. It truly is very easy to use. First thing you have to do 
is you create your Factory 12 View Studio application, whether it's SE or ME, it would not matter. You would create it as if you would any other one. Then you can decide whether or not you want to take advantage of the Factory 12 Viewpoint features and benefits of using the web page public, uh, publishing capability for remote access, for mobile device access for this application. And thirdly, once you do go through those simple steps, thirdly, you open up your browser, your supported browser, put in the uh, IP, not the IP address or the name of the computer. There's some key things. You got to put a prefix or a suffix of FTVP. We're not going to get into that detail, but you would go to the web page and start browsing your HMI application via your mobile device. Uh, one last reiteration. PMB Plus 6 and Plus 7 have the firmware in to host a single client. It can be different clients, but one at a time. Uh, here's a look at the Factory 12 Viewpoint Administration software. If I go in and open it up, you can see I'm using the name of the computer. So it's a web-based piece of software. And I'm ready to get started, so I simply click on the Publish Displays to Web. When I do that, I'm going to get a view application type selection box. So I go in and tell the viewpoint software which of the SE type of SE application I'm using. So the one I have is called Instances SE. It's a local site edition application. So I would pick that. And then at the bottom right there, I would select the graphic displays to publish. So I hit that button. And this is a list on the right there of all displays that are in the HMI application. I can enable them for web, and I can enable them for mobile device. That's where the sizing and the, uh, the size of the screens and the orientation of the screens are all managed to be in the Factual Viewpoint software. This is the admin software. All we're doing now is telling it, these are the screens I want to publish. I want them for a mobile as well. And if you look across the top, you see security settings and server settings, things like that. If you want to go into that type of detail, let your uh, Rexel account manager know, let me know, or call the Rexel automation office, say you were on this webinar and you want some more information. And we'll schedule a lunch and learn or a one-on-one -on -one meeting after this virus thing passes. Or we could actually do it like this as well. If you want to do it virtually, do go into more information on the Factory 12 Viewpoint software and how to apply it. So I would pick my back to the application. I would pick the displays, and on the bottom right there, I would just say publish the displays, and that's about it. The software takes care of the rest of it, publishing the displays and getting getting them ready for the Factory 12 Viewpoint server to use. Here is a here is a glimpse. I sort of let me back up. Once, they do, once it's published, it's ready for access via your uh, web browsers. So that's, that's basically what you need to do to get them published to a viewpoint server and get, them, and get access to them via web browsers. This is the SE application. I mentioned that if you download Factory Talk Viewpoint, you're downloading it for SE. You're downloading the admin and the server. This information. This piece of software is available in the in view and the application when you open it up or develop it. It's underneath your tools. I'm sorry, underneath the application. And you can see it on the top left here. I would hit that viewpoint admin button. That opens up my factory tool, factory tool viewpoint administration screen. This is the ME application screenshot that opens up. I would go in and enable and web enable those and publish the displays like I would any other screen. Then the, then the panel view plus six or plus seven would publish those. And again, it's one client at a time. And the security settings are there. Security is based on uh, roles. So you can set up the role and add members to the roles. That's the same in the Etsy viewpoint security as well. And as I mentioned, if you do want to hear more about this, let your, let your uh, account representative know, let myself know, or call the office. 
will Glenny set up another lunch and learn with you one on one? And I guess it's time for Q and A. If anybody has any Q and A, please let me know. Any questions or? Uh, I guess everybody's anybody? muted, huh? Yeah. There, there's a way to yeah. unmute it down at the bottom. Hey Mike, this is Hey Mike, this is Mark with Dogfish. Um, so, is the server, or I guess the application, is it sitting on a separate server? Can you talk about a little bit about the architecture of how this is set up? Is is it is it on us? I mean, I understand the the ME version is actually just sitting on the uh, HMI display. Is that correct? Yes, and, and I just went back to a slide I had earlier. Can you see the single line, Mark? Yep. Yeah, when you install, when you when you download the Factory Talk viewpoint software, you install it on whichever machine you want to. I don't think there's an issue with putting it on the HMI server. If you have redundant, you wouldn't want to do that. If you have redundant servers, you do want the viewpoint server to be by itself because it can publish from the redundant servers. Okay. Yeah, I missed that slide. I, for some reason, yeah, no I got worries. something that's in the middle. Why, yeah, no worries. That's why I had a good single line of it. I thought that would be self-explanatory. Any other questions? Again, you can email them to the account reps, or you can – I guess there's a chat room. I can't see the chat room. We don't have any responses. Okay. So I think if anybody has any other questions, please feel free to unmute your line and ask, or uh, please uh, get in direct contact with Mark Har Mike H Mike Harkins. Uh, my apologies. And um, yeah, to un your to unmute your line. To unmute your line, it's star six. Okay. Well, if there's no questions, I want to thank everybody for attending. And I'll see you next week on our next one, our next webinar. David, you good? Yep. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you.